You can skip this part if you don't want to watch me dance. I'm pretty sure my neighbor watches my YouTube videos. I bumped into him the other day. He's like, yeah, I watch your videos. I'm like, this is what I'm doing, downstairs. Ready for the beat of neighbor's going. Let's have some more. I can't feel my arms. <laughs> They're like jelly. shower and then make myself some dumplings but welcome to vlogmas day 21 my hands are shaking <laughs> no strength to open this package but my friend luke <coughs> surprised me with this package and sneakily asked hannah for my address because he made some hot sauce Woohoo! my first attempt at homemade hot sauce fermented scotch bonnet apricot and smoked black garlic Woohoo! <gasps> look at these my friends are the best look at this golden flamingo i'm gonna make some of these handmade dumplings chives and pork from this brand li li lake lake saogong shook out I've not tried this brand before, but it's from Deptford, so nice and local. I'm gonna boil them and then make a little bit of a broth kind of thing. Let's film a little bit of my makeup, even though I am no makeup artist. Later today, I've got an event with um, Visit Toulouse, and uh, I thought I would play dress up a little bit and pretend that I'm going on holiday. How are we all doing? today i'm actually very excited for today because today is uh, the winter solstice and in chinese culture we celebrate it and we call it dongzi today it's very important to eat some food that symbolizes the winter solstice so that's with things like dumplings which is why i'm making dumplings today because it represents unity um, and also tonyu which are glutinous rice balls they eat for dessert and my sister's actually going to be making that tonight Meanwhile, at my sister's place, they're preparing some glutinous rice balls so you can either get the pre-packaged like this with the sesame filling or you can try your hand at making your own. So all you need is some glutinous rice flour and then you mix it with some warm water to form a dough, mix it all up um, and it should look a bit like this. And then in the meantime, have a saucepan ready with some ginger and some brown rock sugar to make the soup. Start putting your little glutinous rice balls in, so prepared both of them all together and cook it for about 10 minutes until they start floating on top but we prepared ones of lots of different sizes you can make them however you wish we wanted it to be loads of different sizes because it looks extra cute um but it's quite like a really fun little process and so when they start bubbling up and floating to the top then you can start preparing them and uh, spoon it up into your little bowl and enjoy hot so comforting so nostalgic so delicious follow the southern china traditions but there are northern china traditions where they have dumplings um, a lot more and the reason why they eat things like ginger and garlic and dumplings is also because they believe that winter brings a lot of yin energy yang he in chinese and by eating food that has high yang which is like high um yang he it's meant to be better and to increase the positive energy around us and really for me it's just an excuse to eat more so I'm like I will eat this in the name of positivity <laughs> Go for a nice smoky eye under the eyes today that will do donkey that will do let's spread some perfume today why not I've got Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay I am running out it smells so good mm -hmm. that smells so good gonna make some dumplings and then try the hot sauce i am so excited about this hot sauce and it's also luke's first ever batch so i am beyond honored that he decided to send me some of them as well like how cool is that my friends are honestly so talented and it just makes me so excited when my friends um start doing new ventures and things like that and i always want to shout about it because i just think it's so cool to not only have passion projects but to work so hard on producing something you're so proud of that you want to share it with your friends Oh, that smells spicy. Do you know what? Let's just go big, okay. 
Mmm, it's spicy though. <laughs> I say as I baked a dumpling in it. That is so good. Mmm, it's sweet, it's fruity, it's garlicky. Very, very light. Ooh, and then the hot sauce hits you and then it slowly builds at the back of your throat, but your tongue is like tingling. This is how I like to spend my afternoon. Oh my goodness, let's have some more. So anyway, welcome to uh, Mukbang with Shu. How are we doing today? How much do you like hot sauce? Reading the bottle, it has 47% apricots, 23% scotch bonnet, 5% smoked black garlic, slowly starting to build. Fermentation liquor, 20%. Smoked salt, 2.5%. Smoked sugar, 2.5%. December 2020, batch one. I am gonna keep this bottle. So when Luke, you start making like 10,000 batches, I'll be like, look, this is my first ever batch. Do you remember? So we can celebrate it. Hey, I'm back again. So I've just posted a series of Instagram polls. Uh, it's the second part of the partnership with Freeview and they're basically it's like a would you rather game. So I posted five different polls of loads of different TV shows and I um, prefaced it with a story to be like, oh, there's an ad break coming up. I would love to support and people have been so lovely. I've been fronting away. So I decided to do like a 90s dance and saying thank you for the support to Britney Spears' uh, Sometimes. And then I was like, oh, do you know what? I should do you a dance, shouldn't I? Because I've been posting on here every day in December and so many of you have been watching every single day so <laughs> to some royalty free music on epidemic sound you can skip this part if you don't want to watch me dance pretty sure my neighbor watches my youtube videos i bumped into me the other day and he's like yeah i watch your videos i'm like this is what i'm doing downstairs all the music i pick are um lo-fi let me try it right you know what i mean it's a bit too atmospheric no next one just like um an advert like hello are you looking for some new insurance for your new washing machine because today at washing machine insurance r us we have just the thing at 55 percent no we don't like that one thank you for watching my vlogmas videos just stuck to my foot Fly four star jumps. <laughs> There's a few squats in there. Yeah. Tense those abs. Move your arms up. Ready for the feet on the go. <laughs> oh. Living alone is getting to me, people. Living alone this is what I do when I don't live with housemates. How many people have unsubscribed now? <laughs> and I'm about to join the event for Visit Toulouse, which hopefully I'll be able to visit in 2021. Hi, Shay. Hi, everyone. How are you all doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Just about to crack open this. I'm very excited. Thank you for okay. all of our treats. Bye, see you on the of course, Monday <laughs> evening on lockdown. <laughs> food tour now around Toulouse in France. We've just finished a virtual event. So starting off with this bottle of red. And also this makes me miss traveling so much. So for new subscribers, if you didn't know, before 2020, I actually specialized in food and travel. And a lot of my work is, you know, very fortunately, and I have the opportunity to travel to many different parts of the world. And um, Toulouse is now one of them virtually tonight. So we've got this wine called, <laughs> my French is not very good, the Plaisance. Penavere, um, and it's a red wine from Front and Wines. And this uh, winery is actually located 30 kilometers from Toulouse. And what's special about this wine is that it is the only AOP to use the Negret grape in the wines. And I believe AOP means a specific like, regulated area and region for the wines like Bordeaux with their wines and things. And for the Negret grape, it is black and red fruit with some violets, which is also the official flower in Toulouse and it also has some peppery aromas as well. I'm not a massive expert with wine apart from that I love drinking it but it's very easy to drink. Delicious! 
Next thing on the food tour, I wish you the virtual food tour in Toulouse. We've got the Magrette. Here. So this is the dried duck breast and it's been smoked and cured with only salt and seasoned with salt and pepper So everything else is just its original flavors very very melt in your mouth Smoked duck breast and um, what's special about the magret is that I think historically Duck breast wasn't a super popular dish and they tried to use it like confit and things and it wasn't it just didn't go down very well And the French favored other parts of the duck instead um, But following a trend I believe in the 50s in the steak when steak got really really popular a French chef who I've unfortunately forgotten the name of, but he invented this dish, this magrette de canna, um, where essentially it's kind of like a seared uh, duck breast, but the one here is the cured one. You're meant to traditionally have it sliced very, very thinly, uh, but I couldn't manage that at home, so I did it like this the best I can, and it's delicious. It's very fatty, it's very melt in your mouth, it tastes very, very luxurious. Look at how beautiful this colouring is, but only seasoned with salt and pepper. And for dessert we have what is regarded as the Michelin of chocolate. So this is the Bello and Angeli chocolates and it's a family run business owned by two cousins, Sebastian Bello and David Angeli. We've got three different types of um, chocolate so we've got the field mold ones we've got the ganache and we've got the praline it's made to the highest quality and let me tell you i don't know how i'm gonna go back to my milky bar advent calendar after this because today was gonna be the day where i ate about a week and a half of the advent calendar but lavina i might have to wait till christmas eve like you said yesterday because i'm looking at these chocolates now and i'm like I can i go from michelin of chocolates to my advent calendar I probably can. What an absolute treat and thank you to the Toulouse team for sending over these treats right before Christmas as well and it's just completely lifted my spirit and it's made me very very happy and it's not just the wine I promise although that is delicious. I've got Backstreet Boys on and I'm just finishing up this glass of wine and I'm just loving life as much as I possibly can right now finding the little joys of virtual food tasting, being thankful for my job, being thankful for you, being yeah, just trying to try and have a good time and just having a little dance party in my flat. I'm going to bring the magret, the duck breast and the chocolates over to my sisters because tonight is winter solstice. And, uh, sorry, I'm going to finish this wine, head on over and then um, call tonight's vlog a day and then get editing. Probably won't, won't be up to like midnight 1am because it's already like 8 so ain't nothing but a heart. Okay, I need to go editing.